Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. I'm gonna be sharing what I'm taking to the hospital for the delivery of our baby girl. I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant and they recommend that you have everything set and ready to go because the baby could technically come at any point right now. So it feels really good to have everything packed and ready and I thought I would share what I'm bringing. So when I was preparing myself for what I needed to bring I made a list with different categories for the types of things I would need and this just really helped me because I feel like there's a lot of different kinds of things that you need it's not really like packing for a vacation you have to think about things like for the baby for breastfeeding for postpartum care um, just for like the room in general for labor so what I've done is I've made a list with different categories and then I've listed out the things that I need underneath those categories <laughs> so this way I feel like I'm not forgetting anything and it's it just makes everything a lot more like simplified and easy for me I will have this list down below in the description box for you guys if you want to reference it after the video and links to whatever I can find online as well okay I'm gonna start with the things in the main bag and then everything in this smaller bag is for the baby this is actually her diaper bag and a few smaller things in here as well that I might need for labor and just have like quicker access Access to but let's start with the main bag so firstly I love packing cubes if you guys have watched any of my like packing vlogs travel vlogs you'll probably have seen these a lot they're just so helpful in keeping things organized within your bag and I feel like you can just find everything a lot easier so in this first one I have my coming home outfit I have two different options just depending on how I'm gonna feel it is currently July when I'm filming this and she could come like end of July to beginning of August which means it's currently very very hot so I have one just like light dress option it looks like this you guys have probably seen this in a few of my other videos just a nice flowy lightweight like very loose fitted dress and I don't need to wear a bra with this it just is very easy and lightweight and flowy I'm probably not gonna want anything too tight like around my stomach between my legs and all of that so I was thinking a dress would be perfect and then in case it's a little bit cold for whatever reason sometimes we have these random like three four days where it's just all of a sudden cold I'm also taking my maternity joggers these are just nice simple like beige gray joggers with a really great like wide belly band because obviously you'll still have a significantly like sized belly by the time you go home and I've loved wearing these throughout my pregnancy and then just a simple white oversized shirt this is also from H&M a nice oversized white linen shirt which is very comfortable very flowy nothing too tight in this little packing cube i've got some socks and some nursing bras it looks like this so I've got some like thicker cozy socks and then some thinner ones and then three different kinds of nursing bras. This first one is from Medela and these are both from H&M. And then for the actual stay at the hospital, I've packed two sets of like nightgowns and robes and I might just end up wearing the robes by themselves and having them open because obviously you're gonna be breastfeeding and you need easy access to the boobs. So I've packed this gray set, this dress is actually a nursing friendly dress like a nursing specific dress and I just got this on Amazon I thought it was quite cute just looks like this very comfortable the material is super super soft and then here you have very easy access to your boobs and then to go with that I have this robe which I really love also from Amazon and I might even just end up wearing this by itself and then I'm also packing a black set actually also have this set in a really nice light pink color but I wanted to pack the black one obviously you've just given birth and you have like a pretty heavy significant period a lot of fluid and blood loss and stuff so black I think is the best for that and I really love this fabric it's so nice and soft and buttery and it feels really nice on the body so that was the dress and then this is the little robe that goes on top 
I also have some hotel slippers. I like the idea of disposable slippers when you go to a hospital because obviously like the floor, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of in and out, and I wouldn't wanna take like my home slippers and have them there and then bring them back home, you know? And then in these two bags, I've got some toiletries and skincare. I've got my belly cream, my glasses, a nice big shower cap. For showering let's see oh i've got some hair ties it's probably going to be very important for keeping my hair up during labor and just being at the hospital breastfeeding and all of that and then a big clip as well i like to use these for showering underneath my shower cap my invisalign retainers i've got some supplements in here some body wash as well this is a little mini size version which is perfect for a short stay and then in this one i've got my skincare i love these little mini containers i get these from muji and i just put my favorite products within them this is usually what i do when we travel it's great for shorter trips especially and that way you can put everything in your carry-on and then i just make little labels with my label maker and that way i've got my favorite products but just like mini sized version so yeah i've just got my essentials in here like a makeup remover face wash my cellar water contact lens solution a lip balm just a few things to make me feel fresh and comfortable i'm also bringing my makeup bag with a few of like the simple essentials that i might want to use maybe just for the last day i might not even reach for this at all but i'm just bringing like very simple things like a concealer some powder my brow product eyelash curler and i really love this case because you can put your brushes and actual products like all in the same place and i love the compartments as well i got this on amazon probably five six years ago i love it so much it's literally the best makeup bag ever i've also got this document holder with a few of the like paperwork things that i need my birth plan is in here as well my passport my mother pass with all of the information about the baby and my health and anything that they could need like paper wise everything is in this little folder i've also got this little pink blanket in here that is probably going to be more for the baby again i feel like the weather here can be very unpredictable so in case it gets a little bit chilly and i need to put something a little extra over her in the car seat for example then i will be reaching for this and this is so nice and soft and cozy and actually my brother and his girlfriend this was a gift from them so it's nice and special okay let's move on to some postpartum care i've put all of those things in this gray duffel bag i wish everything fit in one bag but i didn't want to go and buy like a whole new bag just for my stay at the hospital so i just got this little a thin gray one that you can easily fold and this is from amazon i will have it linked down below again i put everything in packing cubes so that i can easily just pull it out and i know where everything is when i need it so in this first one i've got all of my like pads and disposable underwear just bigger underwear they will have pads available at the hospital but just in case i don't like them or i just want to try something different because i don't know exactly what they're gonna have i've brought some of my own and these are like huge these are especially for postpartum so they're very big you bleed a lot after giving birth so you definitely need thick pads i've also got some disposable underwear i also got these ones from freedom mom so many people have raved about these online and they've said that they're really comfortable postpartum i really don't know how i'm gonna feel so i just want to give myself a few different options and um yeah i heard really great things about these also another really great way to kind of keep things organized within your bag is to use these little plastic ones these are of course also reusable and you could even like write labels on them if you wanted to and of course they're see-through so it's very easy to find what you need and then i've got these big black underwear i don't know if i'm going to be using these at the actual hospital i think these are going to be really great for me when i come home but i just wanted to take a few pairs with me in case but a really good size and shape for postpartum because of the larger waistband they're just bigger in general very comfortable and they will fit a nice big pad in there too another underwear option postpartum is full-on diapers these are especially made for women and so many moms have said that they prefer 
these over the pads and disposable underwear so i got some in black and then i've also got these ones but let me show you what they look like <laughs> Not the most attractive thing, but I'm sure I'm going to be very happy to have these. And again, I like having the different options depending on how I might feel. Also from Freedom Mom, I've got these cold pads. It says fold till you hear the pop and then I think they become instantly cold. They're called instant cold perennial compress with self-adhesive strip. And from what I understand, they are actual pads as well. So they're cold pads. They absorb the blood and they provide a nice cooling relief at the same time, which I think is really amazing so I've got a few of those in my bag as well and then I'm also bringing this peri bottle this I've heard is absolutely essential for after giving birth you put some water in here and you use this when you go to the bathroom and it helps to clean you without actually having to use a lot of toilet paper because if you have stitches or pain or swelling you don't want to be touching that area too much with toilet paper and I think also just actually peeing can burn a little bit so they recommend using this at the same time as you're peeing to prevent some of that sting and burn that might happen i'm also bringing this belly band i'm not sure if i will want to use this at the hospital or even when i'm home but it is something that a lot of people recommended they say that after you give birth it can feel very like empty and kind of hollow in your stomach and a lot of women say that it feels really nice to have a little bit of support for your belly so i'm bringing this just in case it's like a, a wraparound kind of soft belt that helps to make you feel a little bit more i guess literally like put together after you give birth i'm also bringing some tux medicated cooling pads i heard these are really great for putting in as like a liner in your pad it's got witch hazel which is very soothing and cooling and anti-inflammatory and it can help with the healing process of the skin so taking those also i'm bringing a towel with me this is something that they said they don't have at my hospital i'm actually giving birth in a clinic which i'm very happy about because it's smaller it's just for women giving birth but anyway yeah, i need to bring a towel so again because of all of the postpartum bleeding and all of that i'm just taking a dark colored towel and then a couple of um, smaller towels for my face also in this bag i've put my electronics i don't have too many things in here but i've put my camera i already put an sd card in here and a charged battery so i don't have to think about that and then my phone charger a lot of people recommended getting a very long cord or cable because sometimes the outlet is very far away from your bed so i think this is a three meter long charging cord so hopefully this is going to be long enough i've also put in a laptop charger here and my laptop i'll just put in like at the very end before we go and then the last few things i have in this bag are just some snacks so I've just got a variety of different things, some bars, cookies, this is a trail mix, some nuts and fruit, just a few different things to have as snacks after I give birth or even during labor, like easy and yummy things to eat. I do actually want to get some little fruit pouches that are like squeezable that you can just squeeze up. I've heard that's a really great snack, especially for labor when you just need like quick energy, but you don't want to be like holding or chewing anything. Apparently those come really in handy, so I might pick some of those up as well and add those to my bag okay let's move on to the baby bag and i do have a few little things in here for myself as well that i might need during labor just having quick access to but let's start with the actual bag itself this is a diaper bag from mina bay it is so stunning i love the color and the simplicity of the bag it doesn't even look like a diaper bag and it's very functional so i've got the shoulder strap on right now which is very nice but you can also wear this as as a backpack it comes with these um, backpack straps which I think will definitely come in handy later on if I want my hands free if we're at the airport or I'm just like running around and I need the bag but I also need my hands free and I love all of the little compartments in here it's so well organized okay the first thing that I have laying on top here is a water bottle with a straw this is something that so many people recommended that you have during labor or especially when you're breastfeeding you might not want to be like putting your head back lots of moms have said that it's a lot more convenient to just be able to sip something also something for labor specifically that a lot of people have recommended 
recommended that I have in here is combs. So these can apparently help to really manage these sensations of labor. There are specific acupressure points in your hands that can really help to relieve some of those really strong sensations. You can hold these in your palms like this during your surges and kind of squeeze down. And apparently that helps to ease and kind of distract your brain from a lot of that pain and sensation. I've also got this little bag in here with some things for labor as well. I've got some essential oils that I might want to use. These are just some relaxing um, stress release specific oils that smell really nice and calming and relaxing. I've also got an eye mask in here. This is a silk eye mask. This could help to kind of keep you in the zone during labor and make you feel like you're in a bit more of a private space. I have no idea how the lighting is going to be, how the mood is going to be. So in case I feel like I want to cocoon myself a little bit more and just go within, then yeah, I brought this eye mask just in case. I've also got my AirPods in here. Definitely just an all-around essential either for labor or for afterwards. And also I was thinking during labor if I really want to just block out all sounds and distractions and noise. I'm bringing these Bose headphones that are noise cancelling. These are actually Mohs, very old, <laughs> but they still work very well and they're great for just cancelling out any sounds. I've also got this portable little mini fan. It is again going to be probably very hot and I don't think that they have AC in the clinic. It's got these bendable kind of gorilla legs so you could attach this to the bed or just have it like standing up or even just holding it. I think this will definitely come in handy for labor and maybe even for postpartum. Moving on to some things for baby girl. I've got some diapers in here. These are the micro like newborn newborn size. I'm pretty sure the clinic will have diapers but just in case maybe the size and model will work better for her. Um, so I'm just bringing a few of those and then I've also got some wipes. Again same thing. I think that they will probably have them. These ones are super clean and minimal. It's it's the water wipes and it's 99.9% .9 water just in case maybe she has like a reaction or something to the wipes that they have I'll have a different option to try I've also got some nappy changing cream this is from Valletta I don't know if she's gonna need this in the first few days but I'm just bringing it in case and then also for myself I'm bringing some nipple balm I've got some lanolin nipple balm and then also this one from Valletta pretty much just the same thing but a different brand. Also for nipple care, I've got these nipple shields from Medela. Just in case things get a little bit sore and uncomfortable for the first few days, lots of moms have recommended those. And then on the side here, I've got some pacifiers. I've got a few different kinds just to see what she is going to prefer. I've got one from Event. This is from Medela. And then these are from Nuke. And all of these are newborn sized pacifiers and I have also sterilized these and the cases as well so everything is nice and clean I've also got these hydrogel pads from Medela it says instant soothing relief for sore or cracked nipples you can apparently also put these in the fridge which is probably what I'm gonna do when I come home and then a few of these Medela nipple covers as well that you can put in your bra for when your milk comes in I also have a sound machine in here this is a little mini portable one. Babies find this very soothing. It kind of reminds them of being within the womb. It's like that kind of soft muffled white noise that can be very calming to them. So this is a, a great like little portable one. It's also got a clip. And then for breastfeeding at night, I also brought this little nightlight with me. I don't know how the lighting situation is going to be at the hospital if they're going to have like a dim light for like middle of the night feeds. And this one is really nice because it's uh, dimmable. It's very soft, but you're still able to see, you know, like what you're doing so you can see that they have a good latch but you don't have to put on like the super bright lights i've also got two different kinds of muslin cloths this is a smaller one a bigger one again i'm pretty sure that they're gonna have those at the hospital but i'm just bringing um two different kinds in case i maybe need them for the car or just to have as a thin little blanket for her and then some clothes for her
her for both during the stay at the clinic and also for coming home. First thing I have here is a swaddle with a matching hat. This is from Sully Baby and the material is so, so buttery soft. It just feels so incredible and I can't wait to, to use this on her. I'm sure she's gonna love it. It's so nice and buttery. And then for one of her options for her coming home outfit, got this adorable little set. How cute is that? And then I've got this pink little hat to go with it and these two pacifier clips. But I'm not sure how big she's gonna be, so I have a few different options. I might also just wanna put her in a really simple like onesie sleeper like this. This is from Kite Baby and it's a little bit bigger than the other um, outfit I showed you. This is also super soft and buttery. The fabric is just amazing and it's also got built-in feet so i don't have to think about socks and this does also have built-in um, scratch mittens so if we go for this option she will basically be all set and i like this as well because it's a zippered one so very easy to get on and off also bringing this really cute one with koala bears and then a few body options as well this one is just with arms in case the temperature is super hot i've also got these in newborn sizes this little floral printed one and a white one i think they have um, little bodies and clothes like this for the babies at the clinic but i just think it's nice to bring some of her own clothes so this is another a full onesie in newborn size and I'm also taking two pairs of scratch mittens in case I put on one of the bodies and we notice that she's like scratching her face or anything then these can be very helpful and then lastly I'm also bringing this swaddle that you can swaddle your baby with their arms up this is from love to dream and it's the newborn size and all of these things by the way have been washed which I think is really important to do with baby clothes blankets Sheets, anything that the baby will wear or be on so I've made sure to clean everything and I'm putting it all here in a clean area <laughs> I will also put in an empty bag for our laundry if I have like any dirty clothes or things like that that I just want to put all together and last thing I'm also bringing my breastfeeding pillow this is one of the two pillows that I have this one is very similar to the boppy and it's a little bit thicker than the other one that I have the other one is from BB hug me it's the same brand that that makes the pregnancy pillow that I sleep with. It has a really nice like bean bag kind of filling so you can conform it really well to you and to the baby shape. But this one is a little bit fuller and bigger and I'm thinking since she's probably gonna be obviously very small, like the smallest that she's ever gonna be, I think this will provide a little bit more of a height for her to be closer to the boob. So I think I'm gonna bring this one and it does also come with a little travel case to keep it nice and clean for on the go. And I do also like that the cover is washable as well. I think that is everything. If I did miss anything, I will have it listed down below in the description box. I would love to hear from you if you've had a baby and you've packed a hospital bag. What were the most essential items that you used and that you would recommend for new moms like me or for anyone else who's watching? Definitely let me know down below in the comments. Again, I will make sure to have everything listed for you down below in the description box with the different categories. For me, it made it a lot easier to organize myself and make sure that I have everything. Yeah, it feels so nice to have all of this ready. I'm so excited for that day and to use all of these things and just feel like comfortable. I will try also to film um, little bits of my labor and delivery and just the time afterwards. So stay tuned for those videos and vlogs. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you maybe found it helpful. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.